Imagine a room awash in gasoline. And there are two implacable enemies in that room. One of them has 9,000 matches. The other has 7,000 matches. Each of them is concerned about who's ahead, who's stronger. So today, America has 30 to 35,000 nuclear weapons. That's enough, they say, the Pentagon says, to overkill every Russian human being 40 times. Russia has 20,000 bombs. That's enough to overkill every American human being 20 times. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Mercifully, this was the latest use of nuclear weapons, but it was not the last time nuclear technology proved its destructive capacity. Realizing the logical limits of nuclear deterrence, political leaders took action to limit nuclear stockpiles. It seemed as though the arms race was over. Since then, nuclear technology has proven to be an invaluable resource, when harnessed responsibly. But the scourge of nuclear weaponry haunts us still, and so our task is simple, to eliminate the remaining stockpiles, lest they fall into the wrong hands and to prevent the development of nuclear weapons by those who would use them to do harm. If we are unable to fulfill this task, catastrophe will befall us. These are the stakes to make a world in which all of God's children can live or to go into the dark. We must either love each other or we must die.